All right, welcome back. We all know that dead trees can be a real danger. A rotting limb can easily do significant damage if it falls. Our Bill Spencer woke up extra early to help a man in need. His home is surrounded by dead trees, which could come down and fall on top of a home or even worse, hurt someone. Now he's getting all the help he needs from the Spencer Solves It team. Bill, it's been quite the morning and really, you know, you know, have to bring these trees down in sections. It's some dangerous, difficult work because we have to start at the top of the tree, cut all that dead stuff away, and then we come down to the base of the tree and bring the whole thing down. Take a walk with me over here. This is the crew from Nature's Tree Removal. They have been in business for eight years. And I want you to meet the man that we are helping today. This is Edward Stewart. Ed? Yes, Tell everybody what your biggest fear was. What were you worried was going to happen? My fear was the tree, that limb of bell with the house falling down. You had, you had multiple trees with branches all over the house. Yes, yes, sir. And what were you afraid was going to happen? I was afraid they were going to fall down, and I got oxygen tanks in that house. Yeah. And if they fall down, they're going to hit that house, they will blow my house up. Like a bomb. Uh, That's like right. Like a bomb. Like yep. a bomb. And, exactly. And uh, Edward requires oxygen to breathe because he's got severe breathing problems. So Ed called me for help. Yes, Get these did. trees out of here. And how do we do? And y'all did a hell of a good job. I appreciate you. <laughs> and thank you, Bill Spencer for you doing a good job and, and saving my life. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Ed. I want you to meet uh, Alex Martinez, the president of Nature's Tree Removal. Uh, man, you did a great job, Alex. You brought 10 guys out here, yeah. two trucks, a great big wood chipper. Uh, tell me, uh, <laughs> why did you want to do this work? I mean, this is a lot of work today. Yeah, it's just like I said, you know, I like to help out the community. I was mostly, you know, just raised here in Houston, Texas, you know, and I understand people sometimes don't have the money to do it or in, in situations like this, hard times like this, you know, and, you know, I like to help out, you know. Then I, all it took was one call from me to Alex, and, I mean, he, he accepted immediately. You're a great guy, Alex. I appreciate the work. Thank you. Because it hasn't been easy. Uh, talk to me one more time uh, about when we were bringing these trees down, the most dangerous part. You had guys up there with ropes and rigging. It looked like mountain climbers, not tree trimmers. Yeah. What is the most dangerous part? Yeah, the most the most dangerous part, you know, is is getting up there and and, and securing everything, you know, just getting into a. a uh, a group together of what they're going to do before they do the job, you know, a game plan. That's what I'm talking about, a game plan. Exactly. This is a dangerous job, you know. It is, yeah, because when you're bringing these tall trees down, everybody, you bring it down the wrong way, it's going to crush the house. And then you've done the damage you're trying to prevent. But these guys did it perfectly. Take a look at the backyard now. This was filled with trees a few hours ago. Now look at it. It's cleared. And as far as Ed's house, no more branches, no more trees, no more dead trees hanging over his home, threatening his life. Reporting live in the Trinity Gardens neighborhood, I'm Bill Spencer. The Spencer Solves the Team. Such great work out there, Bill. This is a problem for so many people, and this gentleman certainly needed Bill's help. Yep. Uh, and we thank everyone who's involved with that. Nature's tree removal doing yes. one fantastic job out there right. in the community. It's incredible what a beautiful canopy older trees can create, but with mm -hmm. that is that inherent danger. Yeah, you got to be careful with that. If, if, if a tree dies, if there's right. a rotting limb, right. it and can Especially it's down. been so dry this summer. That has a huge Yo. impact on the health. Yeah, and that's trees. where I was going to go is it has been so dry. Not only that, but then you've also got the idea of you've got a lot of the brush and whatnot that's around your property in particular, especially for you folks throughout, let's say, like Liberty County, Northern Montgomery County and whatnot. That's how those wildfires start real yeah. quick. So yeah. please be careful out there for sure.